Hi there everyone, welcome back to Absolute Australia. My name is Michelle. Thank you so much for tuning into my little tiny channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Dr. Otke, I think it's pronounced, Ristorantes uh, Thin Based Pizzas from Coles. I think you can also pick them up in Woolies, but I actually got these for less than half price each and I have been really wanting to try them for a very long time so I grabbed each and every single flavour and I'm going to review them one by one and show you the results. Okay, so the first pizza that I'm going to try from the Dr. Otka range is the Hawaiian pizza. I haven't had pineapple on my pizza for decades and I guess it goes back to the old fashioned debate does pineapple belong on pizza or not? So today I'm going to find out. This is also a thin and crispy pizza, so I'm gonna pop this in the oven and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so here is the ham and pineapple pizza. It's not a very large pizza, it's just a little bit bigger than my hand span. It's uh, measuring up as uh, oh, 23 centimeters or nine inches. So it's about the same size as a um, Domino's uh, pizza from their value range. I'm not a pineapple on the pizza fan, so I'm going to try and remain as objective as possible. I'm going to cut this pizza up and try a slice. Okay, so as you can see, I didn't really overcook the pizza. I don't like the base too crispy and too, too hard, so I've cooked it for about 12 minutes in the oven and the base is just right, not too hard and not too soft. I'm just going to actually do a taste test right now. Although I don't like pineapple on my pizza, this is a very nice um, combination of savoury and sweet together in the one pizza. And for the price I paid for it, it's um, a really good deal. I wouldn't overcook it more than 12 minutes, but if you do like a really super crispy base, I'd cook it for about 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. I had it on uh, 180 degrees. Not, not too bad, this pizza. Thumbs up. Today I'm going to be trying Dr. Otka's uh, pizza mozzarella, so it's basically just mozzarella cheese and tomato and maybe a little bit of spinach or basil on top of pizza bread. So I'm going to put this in the oven and taste it. I think this one's going to taste very nice. Okay, so I've got the mozzarella pizza out of the oven and I have only cooked it for about 12 minutes. That looks like a combination of spinach and parsley. And then there's plenty of cheese on here and cherry tomatoes. Let's have a taste. There is plenty of flavor on this pizza even though there isn't many ingredients. It's really tasty and a really good deal for $3.75 or however much I paid for it. Definitely a thumbs up for this one. The cheeses seem to be across the board for all of the Dr. Otka range. They have mozzarella and a dam in all the pizzas that I've tried so far. This is the spinach. I let it cook for about 18 to 20 minutes or about 190 degrees Celsius. So as you can see, there's plenty of spinach on this pizza and a sprinkle of mozzarella cheese and somewhere in there would be a dam cheese. It's very tasty for a spinach frozen pizza um, but it, there's lots of room. I mean they're very simple ingredients, two, three, four ingredients on each of these pizzas. They don't have a lot of toppings but it opens the door for you to add your own toppings to these pizzas if you like. Extra cheese, or some olives, some feta, Spanish onions, extra ham, or chicken. So, I mean, these are perfect bases to create your own pizzas. This one is pretty tasty, actually, for a frozen pizza. And in terms of cooking it a little bit longer to make a crispy base, so this has been in the oven twice now, and the base itself has not become too hard. It's nice and crispy, and it's just taken the pizza up to the next level, crispy pizza, soft topping, delicious. And today's one is 
pizza fungi, otherwise known as mushroom pizza. Here's the mushroom pizza out of the oven. I let it cook for a little bit longer this time, 20 minutes. So it's uh, pretty crispy on the outside of the base and a bit softer on the inside. Taste test. Now the only three toppings on here are mozzarella, mushrooms and some idam cheese on a tomato base pizza. Tomato flavour is coming through quite well, it's working nicely with the base, the base is nice and crispy but not overdone. The cheese is working in nicely. It's a nice pizza, it doesn't have super flavour like the other couple of pizzas that I've tried. It's very mild but if you love mushrooms then this would be a good pizza for you. Okay, so today I cooked the Dr. Octopussy, as I like to call it, <laughs> pizza in the oven for about 18 minutes. I wanted it to be a little bit more crispy. It's not lacking in pepperoni. Obviously you can see a lot of pepperoni on the pizza. It's got a little bit of pepper, a little bit of hotness to it. Overall, it's a mild hotness. It's not killing me hotness. It's just a mild hotness to the pizza. It's, it's okay. I love the pepperoni taste, but it's not my favorite so far. And I've had quite a few good ones from this range already. This pizza here tonight is the Thin and Crispy Pizza Barbacoa. It has minced pork, ham, grilled onions, cheese, and a barbecue sauce and I accidentally left it in the oven too long. This, this one was about 22 minutes. So let's have a try. The barbecue sauce on the base is a little bit sweet. So there's a very sweet element to this pizza with the savory toppings of uh, minced pork, onions and ham. Kind of tastes like a ham and pineapple pizza, but without the pineapple. So the barbecue sauce gives it a, a little bit of a sweet touch. No, it's not too bad. It wouldn't have been my favourite. It's, it's edible. On to the next pizza. We have, last but not least, quattro formaggi, which is four cheeses. This feels a little bit heavier than the other pizza slices that I've tried. Let's have a taste. There are four cheeses in here, four different cheeses. They are mozzarella, idam, emmental cheese, which is a Swiss cheese, and blue vein cheese. And those combinations of cheeses together make a very tasty pizza. It's just crunchy on the outside and it's nice and soft on the inside. Thumbs up for this one. Yum. Okay guys, that concludes my taste tester for the frozen pizzas of the Dr. Octa range. I've taste tested seven of them and my favourite one out of all of them was the mozzarella followed by the spinach and this one wasn't too bad either, the four cheeses. The blue vein tastes very nice on this pizza if you like blue vein pe uh, cheese, it's not for everybody. And there's a couple of different uh, Swiss cheeses on there and some mozzarella worked very nicely together. I would definitely keep a few of these in my freezer at half price, $3.90 or whatever it was, um, for emergencies, but I wouldn't pay more than that for a pizza from the supermarket, probably not more than $5 max. Otherwise, if I have to pay that, I might as well just go to Domino's. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little taste tester video. Have a great night, and I will catch you in the next video.